What's up you guys, it's Jeremy Ray and welcome back to another video. Inside of this one, we're gonna be covering A to Z, everything you need to know about starting and customizing a Shopify store. In this video, I'm also gonna be giving away a free dropshipping store built by me to one of you guys. All you need to do is comment the words dropshipping, like this video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you do those three things, you are going to be entered to win a free dropshipping store built by me. I'm gonna pick the winner for this giveaway once this video hits 500 likes and I'm gonna actually hit the winner up personally we're gonna pick a product I can recommend one if you don't have one in mind and then we're gonna build the store for you or I'm gonna build the store for that person for completely free so if you want the chance to get a dropshipping store built directly by me with winning products that I recommend make sure you guys just like this video subscribe to the channel and comment Shopify dropshipping in the comment section right below this video I'm gonna be picking the winner at 500 likes and there's also gonna be two more options opportunities to enter this giveaway throughout the video scattered randomly. So randomly throughout this video, I'll pause and I'll say, hey, here's number two, and then here's number three. Wait, so randomly through this video, I'm gonna pause and give you guys two more opportunities to enter this giveaway. So you can not only have one entry, but a total of three entries, making it even more possible for you to win this store built by me. All right, you guys, so now that we're in the computer, we're gonna actually start customizing this store. So we're obviously selling the Waves vinyl speaker, which is basically a Bluetooth speaker that looks like a wave. It's basically like a vinyl Bluetooth speaker that looks like an old vinyl record and the record looks like a wave. Obviously, you guys have seen it by now. Essentially, we're gonna be putting that product on a Shopify store. So number one, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need Shopify, you're gonna need Zendrop, and there's also a few extras we throw in at the end of the video that you don't necessarily need, but might help you out quite a bit. With that being said, make sure you guys go to the link in the description and sign up for Shopify if you haven't already so you could actually follow along with this tutorial. Do the same for Zendrop. I'll have links in the description for both of those. And my link for Zendrop actually gives you a specific deal that they gave specifically to me to give to you guys that gives you a ton of freebies with it and even gives you the potential to get a free store built by them or not the potential but the actual guarantee that you'll get a free store built by them. With that being said, super crazy opportunity. Make sure you guys go sign up for Zendrop and also sign up for Shopify. Then as soon as you guys sign up for Shopify, you're going to see this. This is essentially the home page of Shopify. This is where you can navigate to everything else specifically that you need. So for example, online store is where we're going to spend most of our time. This is where you could actually customize your store and the look and feel of it. This is where you'll spend 90% of your time in Shopify when it comes to building your store. With that being said, before we actually go in and customize, I want to talk about themes. So there's a bunch of different themes on Shopify. You can even go to the theme store and go through a ton of different themes that you could pay for, but they do have free themes right here. As you guys can see, all these ones right here are free. Or if we go on the theme store, we could go to the paid ones, which is 202 different paid themes, or we could just click free and it's gonna show us all the free themes that we can use for 100% free right now. With that being said, you guys don't really need to pay for a theme. Obviously, it's cool because you could have some theme that's really way better than the rest of them, but you guys really don't need to do that because there is a ton of great free themes. As you can see, all of these look super, super clean. In my opinion, Dawn is one of the cleanest you can use, and starting out, it's something that I honestly always recommend using. I like Dawn, I also like Sense. Sense is a really clean one, and this newer one, which is called Trade, is also really cool. I like trade for like if you have a store that has quite a bit of products on it sort of thing. But with Dawn, it's really good for one product stores. It's also super clean and it loads super fast, which is something that's really important. A lot of people don't think about load speed on their website, but some of these themes that have all this extra stuff will slow down your overall website load speed. And that actually affects your conversion rate a lot more than you might think. It's by multiple percents for each second that it takes for your website to load as far as the drop off rate multiple percentage less in your you're basically gonna raise your conversion rate by multiple percent if you have a faster loading website versus not. For every single second that people wait for load time, that drops your conversion rate quite a bit. So that's a thing that's pretty important that not a lot of people talk about. And with these free themes, especially Dawn, you're gonna get that really fast load time, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna just start out with Dawn, but if you guys wanna go and add any of these, you could literally just click add on any of these themes, and then it's gonna be right here, and you just click publish, and then you're good to go. 
However, I'm gonna customize Dawn because like I said, this is what I recommend honestly starting out with for sure. So we're gonna start with this. We, all we need to do is click that black customize button that we just clicked. And then basically we're inside of the actual Shopify editor. So this is where we can actually edit absolutely everything that we need to edit when it comes to our Shopify store. Some things we're gonna have to pop out for like setting up menus, but as far as the overall look, 99% of it's gonna be done from right inside of this dashboard. As you guys can see, you have mobile view, you have full screen, and then you have desktop. A lot of people make their store in desktop view, but they forget that 90% of their traffic is gonna be from phone. So I 100% recommend you guys going to phone view and editing your entire website in phone view. This makes it way, way, way easier to make sure that the people who are hitting your website are actually having a good experience because if you're editing your whole website in desktop and it looks super good, when you click over to mobile, it might not look even close to as good. And you wanna make sure since 90% of your traffic or 99% of your traffic is going to be on the phone you want to make sure that your website obviously looks super clean on the phone view over the desktop view with that being said you obviously want them both to look clean so I kind of switch back and forth to make sure they're both looking good but all you're really gonna have to worry about is these images these banner images as you can see these people sitting right here when I go to desktop view it completely changes they're now on the right side of the screen when they were more so in the middle of the screen and also you could see way more of the image that you couldn't see before when we were in phone view so that's gonna be the only thing that's kind of hard to judge is the banner because on phone view and computer view it's gonna change a little bit so before we do anything else on our website we're gonna actually want to add the product to our store and connect a supplier the supplier I recommend you guys use is Zendrop like I said I have a link in the description for you guys to get Zendrop just make sure you guys go down there use that link and then sign up for Zendrop and then as soon as you do what you're gonna be able to do is connect your store directly to Zendrop so as soon as you sign up for Zendrop you're gonna see this dashboard dashboard in front of you. This is essentially the main dashboard and in this dashboard is where first you're going to connect your Shopify store. So if you see in this top left corner it says connect my store, we're just going to click that and then as soon as we do we're going to either say claim my free custom built store which you guys will get if you sign up for Zendrop using my link. They will literally build a store for you or you could say I would like to build my own store or if you already have a store just say I already have a store connect and then click continue. Most of you guys are obviously going to be clicking this if you've been following this tutorial. So now that you've done that, just click continue. And then essentially you're gonna be able to integrate your store with Zendrop. So all we need to do is click authorize then pr proceed to Shopify apps page. From there, click the login to install button and then select your stores for authorization. Click install for one click. I'm not even gonna read through this, it's whatever. You guys can read through the directions if you want, but essentially all you do is scroll to the bottom of the page, click authorize, and then as soon as you do, it pulls you back over to Shopify, to the Shopify app store where you're gonna now install Zendrop drop on your store. Once you install Zendrop on your store as an app, you're just going to log in and then boom, you have Zendrop installed and put onto your Shopify store. So as you can see, as the page loaded, we can just click install and now Zendrop is going to be installed on our store just like that. Boom, we got our store connected. So next thing we want to do is find our products. So all we're going to do is go to find products right here and we're just going to search our products. So we're going to go vinyl LED speaker. Boom. And hopefully we'll find ours in here somewhere. Let's see. All right, so we can see right here. So as you guys can see, as we're scrolling, we just typed in Waves Vinyl LED Speaker. You guys type in whatever your product name is. You might have to type in a few different things until you find it. Or if you don't find it, you can always just go on AliExpress and use the Zendrop AliExpress importer to import the product directly from Ali to your store. With that being said, you guys, as we're scrolling through Zendrop, we found the product right here. Essentially, the product cost is $15 for the product, and then shipping is $16.09. Obviously, this is a little pricey. You might be able to find a cheaper option on AliExpress. However, having Zendrop Fulfillment actually be the ones that fulfill this product is very valuable to you and may be worth the extra couple dollars that you could save by using AliExpress just because when you're using Zendrop Fulfillment directly, you're gonna get a lot better insurance that the order is going to arrive in good quality and actually be there than you will if you were working with AliExpress because you know that Zendrop checks these things and if it's fulfilled by them it's something that they stand behind more than just a product that's posted on AliExpress for example. We could even go ahead and sample the order right here directly from Zendrop but another cool thing is if you don't like this listing if say hey you know that on AliExpress for example you can get one of these for way cheaper and go like this boom boom type in waves vinyl player 
If I see a listing that's better, it looks like, you know, 19 bucks or $14 right here. What I could actually do is go ahead and go to this little request a product button and then just click start sourcing and actually send whatever product I want Zendrop to add to their catalog directly to the Zenbot. So I'm gonna say is this just this, boom. It says send us the link to the product you want us to source. Boom, we send them the link and then as you can see, Request a product from anywhere right in our app. Our team of product sourcing experts will find the product for you at the best price available in the market and add it to Zendrop's product catalog for you to start selling right away. So as you can see, our product sourcing team will get back to you as soon as they have sourced your product. You can check the status of your request under the tickets tab in the messenger. If you have a question about something else, you can start up a new conversation with support by leaving this conversation and starting a new one. So super, super cool, you guys, but they basically get that. Their product team gets that, and now they go source it for you with the best price, best shipping, basically the best logistics possible, and they do it super, super quick. They also update you right here whenever that's done. So that's a way that you could import something that's not even on Zendrop's catalog directly onto Zendrop's catalog, which is pretty cool, you guys. Obviously, the Zendrop catalog is very wide already, but this is just a cool little thing that you guys can do. With that being said, all we need to do to take this product from Zendrop onto our Shopify store is click Add to My Products, and then go over to the My Products tab. Now, once you're in here, you can see the Wave Vinyl Player. I'm just gonna click Review and Publish, and then now I can customize whatever I want about this product. I like to customize most of the stuff once it's in Shopify. I don't know why I do that. It's just easier for me a lot of the times. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and go to variance. I'm gonna just edit the price and then that's it. We're gonna sell it for $49.99. That gives us an $18 profit margin, which is a perfect profit margin. I've seen this sold anywhere from $90 all the way to $40. So I think $49.99 is a good price for sure. I've even seen this sold in some cases, obviously on AliExpress for 20 bucks, but that's AliExpress. Obviously we have to mark up from that price. With that being said, you guys, this sales price is gonna be $49.99. Now that we've edited that, we can go over to images and we're just gonna save these because I don't actually have this product on hand to take my own photos. Obviously, if you guys are selling a product, you wanna actually order it so you could take custom content at your house. But for the sake of this video, since I don't have this product on hand, we're just gonna go with the images that Zendrop gives us. And luckily, when Zendrop recommends images, they're usually pretty good as these ones look. They don't look bad at all. So as you can see, now that we have these images selected, all we're gonna click is publish to my store and it's basically gonna push the product over from Zendrop to our Shopify store. Now, every time we get an order, we just go to orders section and it's gonna be right here and we can even turn on auto fulfillment and that's gonna make it to where Zendrop literally fulfills your orders for you to where you literally sit back, do nothing and every time an order comes in, Zendrop automatically fulfills it, which truly creates a hands-off experience as far as fulfillment goes, which is really cool. But with that being said, now if we go to my products and we go to store listings and sourcings, we can say the Wave, we can see the Wave vinyl player is linked to our Shopify store and we can click this to pull up our Shopify product page where we could actually edit it so this is the product page so this is the product details editor where we could basically edit the details of our product. So as you can see, we've got the product listed for $49.99. And at this point, the next thing we really need to do is add a description. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and go over to AliExpress. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and go control click, search images with Google. And I'm basically gonna search a little piece of that image. And basically Google is gonna give me a bunch of different listings with this product. Pretty cool little trick because now what I'm gonna do is go over to something like Amazon, which I know will probably have a better description or this little custom website right here is perfect. So as you can see, this description right here obviously looks pretty good for sure. Looks like they've got their stuff going. So all I'm gonna do right here is just go ahead and copy this. And then I'm gonna go over to ChatGPT and I'm gonna say, can you make this better and call it the wavy vinyl? I just thought of that on the go, but that's the name of the product, the Wavy Vinyl, that's perfect. So basically, introducing the Wavy Vinyl, it's gonna type this all up for us, it's gonna make it different. Boom, boom, boom. And just like that, all we need to do is go ahead and go copy, and we can tell it to do whatever. We can say make it more fun, make it sound like this, make it sound like that, but now all we're gonna do is just copy, paste, and now we have this description in there. Obviously, you might wanna read through it, of course, before you paste it, but 99% of the time, GPT is straight, so I'm not even gonna waste time with that for this video just because it's gotta be a good description. I mean, the thing about ChatGPT, it basically made the whole, like, usually talking about how to make a description would take like 10 minutes in a video like this, but now it takes like two seconds because of AI, because AI literally, like, 
can't get it wrong unless you give it an input that's bad, but you just have to make sure you go from a store that's actually selling this product. A great thing to do is just use your competitor. However you initially found the product, which should have been through a competitor, go to their store, see what their description is, copy it, throw it in the chat GPT, say change it, add my brand name, boom, copy, paste, done. With that being said, now we have the description in here, which is obviously nice to have, makes everything look a lot more clean. We might wanna add some photos into the description. If I were to do that, I'd maybe go to this website and we'll see some of these photos. Obviously you guys want to take your own photos if you have the product on hand I just don't with this product currently so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and go right here and I'm gonna add a little photo to the description this just looks nice it's something that I think always is kind of cool because it just separates the words like when you just look at a page full of a ton of words it just looks discouraging makes you want to get off the page at least it does for me and I'm sure there's a lot of other people that that can agree with that so with that being said this is something that just kind of breaks it up you also want to add a giphy having a giphy in your description actually is like a moving image should look all right perfect now we can even change the colors if we want to change the name of the colors green forest you know we could go forest green instead right and then we could go ocean blue boom boom that sounds better now we can just click save and as you can see we've got the product basically all ready to go so we've got the product imported from zendrop now the next thing is just adding the logo customizing the store making everything look good adding the policies and all that sort of stuff so let's get into it all right you guys so the second way to enter this giveaway is to just go below this video and comment zendrop and at this point if you already entered the first entry this is now your second entry into the giveaway so now you are two times more likely to actually win a dropshipping store built by me but like I said, all you guys need to do is go to the description and comment Zendrop, and that's gonna give you a second entry into this giveaway. All right, so when it comes to customizing your store, first, obviously, we just go to online store, and then as soon as this loads up, we just click this little black customize button. So as soon as we log in here, you guys will notice it says my store at the top. Obviously, right where that's at is where you wanna add your own custom logo. So what we're gonna do is go over to Canva and make a logo. Canva is dope. I definitely recommend you guys use Canva for making logos. It's helped me my whole life. I still use them to this day, literally every single day for all sorts of stuff. Literally all my different projects I work on, I use Canva for, and especially when it comes to doing stuff for products or websites. So with that being said, what we're gonna do is go to text. We're just gonna click add heading, and all we're gonna do is type in our brand name. So we decided on the wavy vinyl. Boom, and all we're gonna do is expand this now. And basically, we're just gonna go ahead and change the font. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get a nice font. So I kinda like, I like something that's a little more fun. Let's find something that's kinda like a, think like cartoony, maybe. Here, I have one in my head. I forgot the name of it, but it's chewy. I like this one quite a bit. Yeah, I like this one. Let's do this one. So basically, now we're gonna go like this. And we're gonna have to consider obviously what color our background of our website's gonna be. I'm thinking the background for this though is just gonna be, I'm probably just gonna keep it a black and white website. So I'm probably gonna make the header a black bar and then the background white. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna put a black outline on white letters. So basically I'm gonna go ahead and click outline. I'm gonna make this outline black and then we're gonna go ahead, or I mean white outline with black letters. That's what it is, my bad, boom. So white outline on Canva and then we're gonna go Boom, because we're gonna have a black background. So I like that. I think that looks pretty clean. Honestly, what we could do to make it even cooler is just copy this one more time. So make a copy of this. Boom, ah, uh, nah, that doesn't look cool. Sometimes that's something to try. Maybe let's go, hmm, see if we went. Maybe that, that looks clean. I like that a lot. Okay, sweet. So now we're gonna go like this. We can add this little R to it if we want to, this little trademark R. You can go ahead and add that. It sometimes makes your logos look cooler if you wanna add it but basically we're just gonna leave it, or actually we'll add it for now. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and click share, download, and then we're gonna save our logo. So boom, done, make it two times the size. That just makes the quality better basically. And then save it as a transparent image. So then when you upload it to your website, it still shows the back bar. So basically, boom. You're gonna wanna do the transparent image, otherwise it's gonna look like a big block in the middle of your header, uh, which you obviously don't want. So we want this header though, before we upload it, to be blue. So what we're gonna do is change this background to a light blue. Let's change it to like, boom. I kinda like that right there. 
save. Now let's go right here. Let's go for boom, color, color scheme, menu, color scheme. Let's make the menu. And we'll keep it that. All right, sweet. Now let's go to theme settings. And what we're gonna do is go to logo and we're gonna add the logo that we just made. So just drag and drop this guy right here. Boom. Go ahead and click that, done. Click save. And then we've got it saved up there. Now, obviously I'm gonna to wanna to make this even bigger. So what I'm gonna do is make it bigger right there on the bar. As you can see in desktop, this looks like a good size too. Mobile, this looks great. We're gonna click save. So this looks pretty clean. I like the way that this is already looking right now. So if we wanna to go to featured products, what we could do right here. So now that we have our logo set up, the next thing we're gonna customize is this announcement bar. All I'm gonna say right here is just free shipping on all orders. So if I go right here to welcome to our store, I'm gonna say free shipping on all orders boom just to encourage people to buy today basically now we're going to go back and we're going to change the color of this so i'm going to change the scheme to say this right there boom that looks clean in my opinion right there now we're going to go ahead and go to this little header this is basically the image banner so what we're going to do right here is select whatever image we want obviously we don't have the product on hand so we're just going to select an image that i already have that i think would look cool right here that honestly looks super super sick so what i'm going to do get rid of this overlay on the image. And I'm also gonna get rid of this text. I don't like having the text on the image. I don't think it looks good. I think it looks a lot better and a lot more clean to just have the image right here. Obviously you would want it to be a custom image you take yourself so it's high quality, but we're doing the best with what we have since I don't have this product actually on hand with me. With that being said, now we're gonna click save. And now we got this header image right here, the banner up here, the logo right here. Now, as we go down, this is the featured product section. I don't like this because it's a one product store, obviously, so we don't need to show featured products. We just need to show literally one product. So with this featured collection, I'm just gonna remove this whole section. And instead, I'm gonna add a different section. I'm gonna go add section and I'm gonna go featured product. Now we're gonna be able to feature exactly what we just said, one product instead of multiple. So now we just click select. Boom, we've got our product on there. And basically what we can do here as well is change the scheme to white with black background. I think that looks, to white with black letters. I think that looks way cleaner. Now click save. I like to also go right here and where it says my store, it'll say your store name right here. Just delete this. I don't like to have the vendor. It's called the vendor basically. I don't like to have that on there. You can have it if you want, but it's just not something that I prefer. Next thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and add another section and this, and this time what I'm gonna add is called a, and this time what I'm gonna add is called collapsible content. So as you can see right here, or col yeah, that's collapsible. I almost read that wrong for a second. I was like, I thought I read that wrong, but I've said that like a thousand times. So I was like, no way have I been saying that wrong, but I'm saying it right, collapsible. Yeah, there we go. All right, so basically you guys, if we're in here, the first thing we're gonna do is edit the header. So collapsible content, all we're gonna do right here is we're gonna say, why, go wavy boom or why why get wavy boom there we go that's a good one all right six so just think of something cool creative to say right there it doesn't have to be anything insane if you get stuck just ask chat gpt i'm gonna make the background of this black because i think it kind of adds a good separation you have this then you got the blue then you got the white then it restarts black and then you're gonna get the blue the white and then black again that's how i like to set up my website so now as you can see we got this right here why get the wavy for the actual content that we're gonna put inside these collapsible rows is so this is where it gets honestly even easier. All we're gonna do is go back to ChatGPT where our description was, and we're just gonna add the info from that right here. Boom, by just going like this, and then taking the first couple words and making that the heading. So now we're just gonna do that for each row. What you could do is say, make it different. And then you could get some different ones, so then you're not copying exactly what's on your description, obviously. So right here, I could go boom, boom. The next thing that I like to add sometimes is an email sign up. We have that on the footer though, so we don't really need to add that. Contact form is nice. This allows your customers to just scroll down to the bottom of your website and see a spot to contact you if they need something, which is what you want. You want the customer to come to you and ask you a question if they have it. You don't want the customer to have to deal with all these different support agents and have this big hassle trying to get a hold of you as the business. So make sure you have something like this. I like to just put it right there at the bottom. But honestly, you guys could go and add more. The 
The other thing we can add right here if we want is called a multi-column. I think these look pretty clean sometimes. You can have this right, I would say, above this guy. So just right here. So right basically underneath, I mean, the collapsible content. So if we put boom, boom, right? And right here, you could just have some more features about your product if you want. For this specific product though, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep contact form, this little collapsible content, and then the product. I like to keep it, I like to keep it clean and simple because it directs customers to where they need to be, which is the product. If you're a one product store, that's all you need to show. Obviously, if you have multi-products, obviously if you have multiple products, you can do different ones, but obviously if you, obviously if, Obviously, if you have multiple products, you could add different things to the home page, but this is just a one product store, so this is how we're gonna keep it. Next thing we're gonna do after we have this whole home page done is go ahead and go to the checkout. So we could go right here and we could go to cart, checkout and customers accounts, different pages, whatever we want. So we could just go right here and then go ahead and go to checkout. And as soon as we go to checkout, now we're in the checkout settings. What we're gonna do here is the same thing, just customize it ourselves. So we're gonna add our logo to the top, obviously bring this logo width up right there. That looks pretty clean. Now, what, now next thing I'm gonna do is choose a background color. So if I wanna choose, let's say for the header, let's choose the little blue color we had. If I wanna get the same exact color, what I could actually do is go over back to our header, go to the color, and when I go here, I could just copy this little number, and now I could paste it right here, and boom, we got the same color. This actually looks insanely clean. I like this color scheme right here. This is perfect, so honestly, this color scheme looks clean. I'm keeping it this way. I like it this way. This looks clean. Perfect, all we needed to do was literally add the logo and that's that. With that being said, now we can click back and we've got everything set up and basically good to go as far as the home page and the checkout page, as well as the product page. On Shopify, you really don't need to add anything to the product page other than upsells and stuff like that as you start to scale. But in the beginning, you could pretty much leave it as is. It looks super clean. Obviously, we're gonna do a look over it and make sure everything looks clean. But before we do that, there is a couple other things that we need to do, like add the policies. So what we're gonna do to add actual policies to our website is go to settings, then we're gonna go ahead and go to policies. As soon as we go here, what we're gonna do is privacy policy, that's already on, but basically we can go to terms of service and click insert template. And anywhere that's highlighted, just insert your info instead of the info that's already in there. And then next thing is return and refund policy. So obviously you wanna write a return refund policy based off whatever you want. I recommend you guys offer refunds if the product is defective. So you don't need to offer refunds if the customer just wants to return it for no reason. But if the product is broken, defective, doesn't work, wasn't what they expected, some sort of thing like that you can offer refunds so I would just say refunds are only accepted so I would just either say, hey, refunds are accepted within the first 30 days, or hey, refunds are you know accepted if the product's damaged, but it's truly up to you guys. I'm not a legal consultant by any means, and it's dependent on whatever product you're selling. I'm sure there's standards for certain industries, but really what I do is just look at my competitors and kind of base it off of that. However, like I said, you guys can make your refund policy literally whatever you want. You guys do not have to do anything specific. What I usually do though is obviously offer refunds if the product is damaged, defective, doesn't work, or is in some way not what they expected. So you just wanna make sure your customers know that, hey, if they buy from you and they end up hating this product, they can get their money back for it. In most cases, when you do refunds with drop shipping, you're just gonna be refunding them and letting them keep the product. Now, after you have all of your policies set up, all you're gonna do is go back to online store. This time though, we're gonna go to navigation and we're gonna go to the footer menu. So when we go to footer menu, what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna go ahead and add our policies. So privacy policy number one, we're gonna go ahead and add contact information, and then we're gonna go ahead and add, boom, boom, turn to service right there. Then we can move this one at the bottom, and then we're gonna also add contact, boom, boom, right there, and then we're just gonna click save. So now we can change this footer menu to more about us. I like to do that, I think it looks cleaner. Click save. Now if we go to online store and we go to customize, we can see right here that at the very bottom of the store on our footer, what we can actually do is scroll down here, click add block, add menu, and then basically all our links are right here. So boom, now we got those links right there. I'm gonna rename this from quick links to more about us, dot, dot, dot. Boom, click save. 
capitalize all these letters if I want. Sometimes it looks cleaner. It looks cleaner in this case for sure. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and go back. And the next thing I wanna do is show you how to remove this power by Shopify so it just doesn't say that down there. So if we go exit, what we're gonna do is click right here, these three dots, go ahead and go edit code. Once we click edit code, it's gonna get crazy. You guys are gonna feel like professional coders, but it's not that serious. What we're gonna do is type in footer right here. Boom, and then you'll see footer liquid. Now we're gonna go Command F and search for Powered By, and as you can see, Powered By link right there. Just delete that, click Save, and then just like that, as you guys can see, we will no longer have the Powered By Shopify on the bottom of our store, which in my opinion makes it look a little bit cleaner. You don't have to, obviously Shopify is great, but it just makes it look more branded if you don't have that on there, obviously. With that being said, next thing we wanna do is go back to navigation, go to main menu, and this time we're gonna customize the main menu. Since it's a one product store, I'm gonna delete the catalog, and instead I'm just gonna add a link to our one product. So adding a link directly to the Waves vinyl player, boom, now click save. And as you can see, obviously it says Wave, I'm gonna call it the Wave V, boom, right there, save. I'm gonna also make sure the product's actually updated right here, Wavy, boom, Wavy. Did I misspell the logo? No, I spelled the logo right. All right, boom, Wavy player, boom, back, back, online store, save. Now, as you can see, if we go to the header, we've got the main menu right here. We've got all the little menu items down here that we need. We've got it looking super clean. If we click into the product, here's what the product page looks like. Let's go, boom, boom, view full details. As you can see, product page looks pretty clean. Only thing I wanna add you guys or change about this is the background colors. So I wanna make the background scheme different. I wanna make it match the other web. I wanna make it match the home page. So I'm gonna make the background white. As you can see right here, it also says my store again. I'm gonna get rid of the vendor section on the product page too. I don't think it's needed for any reason. And as you can see now, when we scroll down, we've got a pretty clean looking description for just having pictures that we got offline. And literally I've used like three photos in total for this entire website and it looks pretty dang clean. But you guys are gonna wanna take your own content, add giphys and add your own pictures to the description to make it even cleaner and make it pop even more. However, this looks pretty clean. This is definitely something that could convert. Now, if we go ahead and click add to cart, we're gonna actually see this product now move to our cart where we could go view cart and actually see what it looks like in our cart page for our customers. So as you can see, our cart page is all blue as well. So I'm gonna change this to match the rest of the website, make it a white background too. Boom, I'm gonna change this estimated total. We'll change this to a, let's do a black background. I think that would look clean. Yeah, right there. Boom, and then they click checkout. Then basically, as soon as they click checkout, now they come into our checkout process. And as you can see, if we wanna customize these, we can go to customize checkout, but we've already done that. So at this point, you guys, we've got basically everything set up. Next thing we need to do is markets and shipping. So as far as markets go, what markets are, are basically the areas that you're gonna be able to sell to. As far as these markets go, you're gonna to wanna to keep your primary one. As far as this international ones, but with this international one, just go ahead and click remove market. We don't need it because what we're gonna make is a worldwide market. So now we're gonna type in worldwide, boom. And then we're gonna just select every single option that we can, boom, boom. And then obviously if you get an order for somewhere that you end up can't shipping to, and then obviously if you get an order from somewhere where you can't ship to, you just obviously refund the customer for that. But this is gonna allow you to make sure you can get sales from everywhere. If you don't do this, people who are in other countries that hop on your website aren't gonna be able to check out or order anything. So make sure you do this. Next thing we need to do though is add shipping rates. So now what we need to do is go to shipping and delivery, go ahead and go to general. And then what we're gonna do is just delete this, what we already have set up, delete that and basically click create zone. Now when we create zone, we're gonna go worldwide, boom, and then I'm gonna select everything that I can again, boom, boom, just like that. Boom, okay, sweet. So we got everything selected, so boom, done. Now after you select everything, go ahead and click add rate. Now where it says custom rate name is where you're gonna actually be able to name your shipping. So what I'm gonna do is free VIP insured shipping. 
Now, after I've done that, next thing I'm gonna do is go price. Let's go ahead and just do, let's keep it free. We could add a paid option if we want to, but I like to just keep shipping free in the beginning and you could always play with charging for it later on, but just to prove that the product can make sales, I like to make it cheap and also have the shipping be not anything crazy, like for example, free. So then when the customer hops on the product page and goes to their cart, you don't have a ton of add to carts, but no checkouts because people are getting the option for free shipping. Typically, if you make shipping free, it makes people go through your sales funnel and actually purchase more because when they go to the product page, then to the checkout, they realize that they don't have to pay for shipping and it makes it a lot easier for them to obviously keep buying versus realizing that, oh my gosh, I thought this was gonna be 15 and now I see the shipping and it's gonna be 20. That's not a good feeling, nobody likes that. So free shipping is nice to be able to have. So I'm just gonna do free shipping, click done. And then all I'm gonna do is click save. And as you can see, no countries or regions are not covered by our zone. So now we can literally ship anywhere. The last thing we need to do is activate the worldwide market we made now that we have this. The last thing we need to do is edit the worldwide market we have. So just go to markets, we're gonna to go to worldwide, we're gonna go ahead and click active, and then we're gonna just save this. And now you guys, our store is set up and ready to go. The last thing that you would wanna do is set up your payments. I'm not gonna go into that because it's literally just you giving all your personal information because it's obviously just you connecting your bank account and things like that, which I couldn't even show you how to do anyways. So if you wanna claim your third entry into this giveaway, all you need to do is go down below the description in the comment section and comment Shopify. All you guys need to do is literally go down to the comment section, comment Shopify to make sure you can get your third entry. During this tutorial, we obviously used the Zendrop bot in the website, the chat bot, and basically asked it to import a product that wasn't already on Zendrop or a different variant of our product we're trying to sell that's a whole lot cheaper literally as soon as we finished it which was probably 15 minutes after we sent the message to Zendrop to import our product they literally sent us back a message saying hey I just finished up your product listing and linked it below and they literally have our product linked to the Zendrop catalog just like that it's literally been like 15 minutes since we first sent a message to the Zendrop bot asking it to import this product for us and they already have it done so literally you guys anytime you find a product or anything that you want that's not all already on Zendrop, just find a link for it, send it to that chatbot, and they're gonna go find the best sourcing for it and import it to the Zendrop catalog right away.